On June 30th, Occupy Detroit held their first General Assembly at the Golden Gate Restoration Project. They reached consensus on a proposal to fund a solar power system for the community. At the end of July, they returned to discuss the movement's role in the upcoming election cycle, the mixed emotions about demonstrations by the Detroit Police Union, and to see the results of their investment in renewable energy. To install the solar panels, supports first needed to be fixed between the joists under the roof. 18-inch bolts that once held plywood over windows were driven through the roof to boards above that would support the frame. These cross beams can be adjusted to angle the panels towards the sun as the seasons change. Next, the actual solar panels were attached to the frame. Two three-panel systems were combined to produce up to 90 watts of electricity. The wires from the panel run to two terminals on a control panel inside the house. The DC power runs through a regulator, which ensures the battery isn't overcharged, doesn't discharge at night, and monitors the flow of electricity in and out of the battery. With a 500 watt capacity, the regulator can handle many more additional panels as the system grows. Then, the electricity is stored in a battery, or more accurately, a battery bank. The more batteries we have, the more power can be stored and available for residents. Finally, the electricity passes through an inverter, which changes the charge from DC to AC to be used by common household appliances, such as lights, fans, or a stereo. The Golden Gate Restoration Project's solar power system, a small but concrete step that demonstrates Occupy Detroit's support for sustainability. Mm -hmm.